When using a scheduled test to periodically back up your hard drive data, it is very likely that you will run out of space in your backup drive after a certain period of time. So it becomes necessary to delete certain backups in order to clean up your drive. The backup cleanup feature automatically deletes image files from the backup drive according to a specific policy that you may customize based on your particular requirements. This allows your backup schedule to run indefinitely without ever running out of space due to old backups. Backup cleanup can be set to execute at a certain time since the backup was created or when the number of backup images exceeds a certain number. Backup cleanup works a bit differently for different backup types and will follow these two rules. First, an incremental backup sequence, including the full backup and all of its subsequent incremental backups, must be deleted as a whole. Second, differential backups can be deleted separately, but the full backup will only be deleted after all of its corresponding differential backups are deleted. Due to these rules, the number of retained image files at any given time can be greater than what is set in the backup cleanup policy. We will get a better understanding of these rules and the cleanup process by taking a look at a couple examples. Let's say you're on a daily incremental backup schedule and set backup cleanup to execute when the number of backup images exceeds 7. There will be a full backup on the first day and then 6 incremental backups in the following 6 days. On the 8th day, there will be another full backup. At this moment, the number of image files is larger than 7. However, backup cleanup will not be triggered because if the first full backup were to be deleted, all incremental backups that are tied to it will become malfunctional. An incremental backup sequence must be deleted as a whole. The backup cleanup will execute on the 14th day, when the entire first backup sequence, including the first full backup and the six subsequent incremental backups, will be deleted from your backup drive. If, instead, you conduct differential backups on a daily basis and set backup cleanup to run when the number of backups exceeds seven, the process will work a bit differently. You will still get a full backup on the first day, and then six differential backups in the following six days. On the eighth day, you will get another full backup. The number of backups now exceeds 7, but since the first full backup will only be deleted after its corresponding differential backups have all been deleted, backup cleanup is not triggered at this time. The first cleanup occurs on the ninth day, when a new differential backup is created after the second full backup. The first differential backup that was created on the second day is deleted. This will not impact your recovery procedure given how the differential backups work. For the rest of the week, one differential backup will be created and one will be deleted. On the 14th day, all differential backups related to the first full backup will have been cleaned up. Therefore, the first full backup is no longer needed. It will be deleted and the number of retained backup images will finally be 7. In the last part of this video, we will show you where to find the backup cleanup settings in Toto Backup Enterprise and Home versions. In the Enterprise version, when creating a new backup task, the backup cleanup option can be found near the bottom of the window. In the cleanup setting page, you can switch do not clean up to according to cleanup rule to create your own cleanup policy. You can choose to clean up images from these two options based on your requirements. If you enable don't delete the first image, the first full backup image will remain on your backup drive and will not factor into the cleanup policy. In the home version, backup cleanup has a different name, image reserve strategy. It is also found in the new backup task window and functions the exact same as in the enterprise version. If you have any further questions relating to the backup cleanup policy, please feel free to contact us at support at Thank you for watching.